Hi and welcome back. We are now doing number patterns. What you will notice in number patterns is that you need to always know how to get the equation. Now how to get the equation was discussed in our previous video. If you are not familiar with that, then I advise you that you go and watch that video before attempting this video. When they do number patterns in the exams, you will notice that it doesn't always come in a standard form of numbers. Sometimes they would draw a pattern for you and from that they would expect you to answer the questions. This is one of the questions that are in previous exam papers where they would give you a drawing with rods. The first drawing has two rods, the second drawing has four rods and the third drawing has six rods. When they ask you to continue the pattern, that means you have to redraw or continue with what pattern would be next. Now in this you notice that at every step they are adding two rods. So if I had three horizontal, I'm going to have four horizontal. And I had three vertical, I'm now going to have four vertical, giving me a total of eight rods. Now once you can see the numbers, then they're going to ask you to get the equation. Now this was discussed in the previous video where you had learned that the equation is Tn is equal to An plus B. A being the constant difference, in this case it is 2. So we have Tn is equal to 2n and because if we were to go in multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, you will see there is no adjustment between the multiple and the number pattern. So it is simply 2n plus 0 or you can write it as Tn is equal to 2n. Now after they do that, they will ask you questions that are related to the number patterns like how many rods would you need at the tenth pattern? How many rods would you need at the tenth pattern? Now what are they talking about when they are talking of the tenth pattern? They are talking of n. They are telling you that n is equal to 10. So what they are saying is that n is equal to 10. After we get the equation and they start asking us questions, we need to make sure that we substitute in the correct place. You must be clear when are they asking for n and when are they asking for tn? This is dependent on what they give. So if they give me n, then I'm going to have t of 10 is going to equal to 2 times 10. Meaning at the 10th pattern, I will need 20 rods. Now look how I'm going to change the question. What pattern will use a hundred rods? Or which pattern number would use a hundred rods? But what they are giving you is the hundred rods. That is now Tn. They are telling you that Tn is equal to 100. So again, we're going to go to our formula. Tn is equal to 2n. What am I substituting? Tn, be careful at how you read the question and how you understand Tn and n. Now, at Tn's place, I'm going to put 100, is equal to 2n. What they are telling us, at the 50th pattern, I will use 100 rods. This is my N and this is my TN. Thank you for watching.